All right, welcome guys. Hey, today we're doing the third day of Christmas, which is the parody on the movie poster. So pick your favorite movie. Uh, here's an example that I've got on canvas. You can see how they've transformed from the Terminator to the Toyminator. And uh, all of this you can do with just the basic skills that we've let, practiced over the past 14 weeks in Photoshop Photo P. And so I'm gonna show you uh, how to start this project. So the first thing that you're gonna do is uh, obviously look at Canvas, and I've got several examples here of different posters. I've also got some resources for you. One resource is called the Rhyme Zone, okay, where you can find rhyming words. The other one is the font, where you can find the font, like if you're looking for a Star Wars font or whatever movie it is, uh, go to the font, you can download that and install it, and then produce a poster that has the correct font. Uh, so the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, pick a movie, and fortunately my Second period class came up with the Polar Express. So I need to make a Polar Express parody. By the way, a parody is kind of like a joke. You're making fun of a video. Uh, as you can see from this one, it says Gone Girl, which is the movie. And then they've changed it to Gone Princess. They put Mario in here. They've changed the skyline so that it's the uh, you know Mario landscape. Uh, and then they changed these other uh, features of the poster. So you'll be doing the exact same thing. First thing though, I wanna, basically get online, look at the Google image and see if there are what Polar Express parodies have already been created because I'm striving to create something original, right? And so I wanna see what's already out there. So I'll look at the parodies. And as I flip down here, I'm not really seeing much. Uh, people have taken and they've done like the Winnie the Pooh Polar Express and uh, you know, uh, so, sort of options, but I don't see anything that's very strong. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Rhyme Zone and I type in polar at the top. And as you can see, I've got all sorts of different words. I got molar, like the back of your teeth, uh, the, back, the teeth in the back of your mouth. I've got roller. So maybe I could do something with that roller, stroller, solar, uh, mm. bipolar, the bipolar express. That might be interesting. Uh, leaf roller. Um, so a steamroller. Okay. And so as I look down this list, I'm going to pick steamroller. I think that's going to be the one I want to work with. So rather than, I know that the Polar Express has like a train on the front. Uh, so I think I'll put a steamroller in there. And if you don't know what a steamroller is, a steamroller is used when they're, you know, paving roads and they'll use that steamroller to flatten the top surface, make it nice and smooth. But the thing about steamrollers is they go super slow. So we're talking like, you know, a half a mile an hour kind of thing. So I could play off of that. Maybe I'll have, um, maybe I'll have some sloths. Uh, driving the steamroller or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so what I want to do first is I want to go to Google, type in Polar Express poster. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to then copy that image or save it to the desktop. And then I need to go and I need to find a picture of a steamroller. So there's lots of options here. The thing though is, is that when you pick the steamroller or whatever object you're going to be placing into your poster, you want it oriented in the same direction uh, that the poster is in, if that's your goal. So I need to find a steamroller. Now this train is being shot from below, like from track view up. And I don't know if I'll be able to find something like that. Maybe I'll find a steamroller at night. Certainly you've seen construction crews on Highway 99 and they're working, you know, with lights and things like this. So maybe I could find some sort of a night picture of a steamroller. And then I'm going to need a picture of a sloth. Uh, this guy looks like he could be driving, driving the steamroller that I've picked. So I'm going to click on him. I'll just put a uh, save image as sloth and let's get started. So in photo P I open up polar express. Next thing that I'm going to need to do is I'll make a copy of this, uh, to copy a layer, you just go control J. Okay. And that makes a duplicate look over here. If you would over in the layers palette, I'm going to, label this one the base poster. And the background one will just be my backup in case things go awry. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on this and I'm gonna just kind of see what I've got. So, uh, all right, so we got that going on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my steamroller. Let's see here where we go. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, this is the steamroller I found, steamroller at night. I can take my marquee tool Okay, which is the first, the second tool here. I'm gonna then just kind of run it over the top. Maybe I wanna get those lights in there. So, and part of the street. And maybe I'll get more of it so that I don't have to cut so much out. When you're working in Photo P, the goal here is to minimize 
as much as possible the amount of extra work that you have to do. And so oftentimes making good selections is the key to that. Next, I'm going to paste that in place. Now it's really dark. The photo is poorly taken. Uh, so I'm going to try to bump the contrast. By the way, contrast is the sharpness between the two opposites between black and white. And as you can see, there's just, there's no real hard blacks in this and the hard whites are obviously the lights, but let's see if we can go to edit adjustments, brightness and contrast. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of see if I can't clean that up just a little bit, make it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, that's good. And I want it light enough that you could see the sloth's face in it. All right. So that's going to work. Next thing you know, I'm going to, need to do is kind of clean this up a bit. So let's see if I can change the opacity. I'll bring that opacity down. All right. And I think I'm going to try to maintain this kid in the foreground. So there's a kid over here to the side of the train tracks. And so what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in, grab my Z, zoom in like that. And I'm going to use my lasso tool here. And I'm just going to do a rough cut around the outside edges of this, just removing the train. And something like that. Okay, so as, I, as I'm doing this, I'm noticing the lighting effects that are taking place here. So the bottom of the train is kind of lit. There's definitely snow happening. Control X. Cut that out. Okay, and as you see, and remember again, anything that's checkerboard, that's going to be a transparency. Maybe I'll take the eyeball off of that one. Each one of you are going to have a different problem to solve when you're trying to work this. I think I'm going to save the bell. Maybe I can put that on the steamroller somehow, but I'm going to zoom around this side. And I might be able to stay with that light there. Let's see what we can do. Control X. All right, now I'm going to take my steamroller. Control D for deselect and put the steamroller underneath here. And so we got something like that. This could actually work. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna need to do is enlarge the steamroller. And so you're gonna hit image free, or sorry, edit, free transform. You guys know how to do this. I'm then going to try to scale it up. Yeah, so that works. Something like that, yeah, like that, okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the opacity of the top layer so that I can see through, see my steamroller. So I'll take this down and that will enable me to kind of come through and cut more of this out. Now, you don't always have to use the lasso, you can use the eraser tool. So I'm gonna go over here, tap E for eraser and I'm gonna change the, let's see, I'm gonna change the softness of that brush from 100 all the way to 0%. And I'm going to then kind of also change the opacity. Remember, you can change the opacity of the brushes. You can change the opacity of the eraser. Let's see what we got here. And I'll make this a little bit, well, that's a little bit too big. Okay, so I'm changing the opacity of that, of that eraser so I can kind of clean up some of this edge. And I don't have to work so hard. That's the key about this Photoshop stuff is you want to minimize the amount of work that you have to do because you can get really super stuck on having to repair things. All right, so I'm going to kind of clean that up, bring that forward. I'm going to leave this snowy sky in here, but I'm getting rid of where the edges of that meet. And that might work. All right, so maybe I zoom in and clean up this layer actually around the outside of the kids. So I'm going to grab my tool here and bring the brush size down. Right now it's at 74. Maybe we'll see. How does that work? Yeah, something like that. Uh, and I will change the opacity of the eraser again. So I'm going to bring the eraser up so that I can actually carve into this. And I'm just carefully going around the outside. And this might take some time. So Let's see. Oops, I just went too far there. Anyhow, let's see. I'm going to go into speed. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. All right. So control X, D. I'm going to change the opacity of the sloth. So I'm going to 
So he kind of hides in there. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the lasso tool, get rid of this top part of this poster. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, fade this in. And next, what I need to do is I need to figure out what's going on. That's the layer. Okay, I need to get rid of, let's see, part of this picture. So I'm going to... There we go. And I then need to find a font that's going to work for this. So rather than it saying, it's going to say the Steamroller Express. I don't even know if I could fit that in there, but what I'll do is I will, let's see, add a new layer. I'm going to add in a little bit of paint bucket. Boom, make it easy. Okay, maybe I'll change the opacity on that just a little bit. Okay, so mostly you just work. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to change the... Uh, I'm going to go to the text tool and I'm going to click on this. I'll pick white and I'm going to then I'll put the text tool text layer at the top there and we'll see what kind of fonts we have. I can try and find something that looks similar to that. Actually, why don't we just go with this one and I'm going to call it the it was all in caps. I want to do that, the Steam Roller Express. I can highlight that, and I'm going to then drop it and try to find a font that's going to work and be a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to situate that there. I'm going to then spend the rest of the time cleaning this up. But as you can see, in a nutshell, that is how you're going to transform it. That's how you're going to make your pe uh, movie poster parody. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.